these houses of worship, you know, are, are more than just places where people pray. Our top story this hour, authorities come down hard on a suspected arsonist who they believe lit several Minneapolis mosques on fire. The suspect, Jackie Little, now facing federal hate crime charges. The indictment unsealed today charges the suspect with arson and civil rights violations for targeting a religious institution. Let's go live to Paul Bloom outside the federal courthouse in downtown Minneapolis. And Paul, the suspect, ordered to remain behind bars until this case plays out. Randy and Kelsey, the defendant made a brief uh, court appearance in the federal court earlier this morning. He pleaded not guilty to these two charges in connection to the two fires allegedly set inside a pair of Islamic centers in the city of Minneapolis. Uh, tonight, as you mentioned, he will remain b behind bars as this case moves forward. As I have said many times, Islamophobia is serious and must be confronted head on. Federal prosecutors on Thursday unsealing a two-count indictment against Jackie Rom Little, charging the 36-year-old with arson and a hate crime for deliberately setting fire inside a pair of Minneapolis mosques late last month, including one blaze that torched the upper floor of the Mercy Islamic Center. Court documents here detailing the attacks that sent fear and panic throughout the local Muslim community, with Little photographed carrying a gas can, other images show him at the scene of the fires that fortunately were extinguished without anyone getting hurt. We will respond to any attack on any house of worship with urgency and determination. Federal authorities said investigators are looking to connect little to potential additional attacks and vandalism targeting Muslims, including Congresswoman Ilhan Omar. Court records indicate little has a troubled history of setting fires and mental illness. Community leaders particularly concerned about graffiti linked to the defendant. That includes spray painting of the number 500. We suspect that it involves killing either 500 people or recalling a, a, a terrorist attack that happened in Somalia that killed 500 people. But with people with mental illness, God knows what they're actually implying. Jackie Little's defense attorney declined to comment publicly following this morning's hearing, but did hint inside the courtroom that mental competency would likely surface as this case plays out. Again, Little to remain behind bars, as it does. We're live outside the federal courthouse in downtown Minneapolis. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. Alleged